Hey there. How about a car with some actual legroom and some actual speed? This section's about what happened when McLaren decided to make a road car. You're going to enjoy this. Road have very different requirements. For McLaren, that was a challenge they were more than willing to embrace. In 1988, they set out to create the finest sports car the world has ever seen. By 1993, they had achieved their goal, and the honestly fantastic F1 was the result. 106 would be built across all variants, and it remains one of the very best road cars ever made. The F1 has no turbocharger. That would have compromised the driving experience, increased complexity, and resulted in turbo lag. The F1 is a naturally aspirated supercar, one of the fastest in the world, in fact. Everything about this car is innovative, from the carbon fiber monocoque to the central driver position. McLaren threw the book away when they designed the F1, then they wrote a better one. The F1's monocoque chassis is incredibly lightweight, only 100 kilos all told, which posed a significant challenge because carbon fibre and fibreglass aren't great insulators. So, McLaren lined the entire engine compartment with gold. In 1998, the F1 prototype set the world record for fastest production car a record that would stand for two decades until the Koenigsegg CCR claimed the crown. McLaren's racing heritage is so deeply ingrained in this machine that when they took it to Le Mans in 1995 and faced off against purpose-built racing machines, they won. So, with something like the F1 to live up to, where do you go next? Well, you throw the book away again and write an even better one. The result is the McLaren P1, a hybrid electric sports car that stands head and shoulders above the F1. The P1 GTR will hit 60 miles an hour in 2.4 seconds. That's 0.7 seconds faster than the F1. That's an eternity for a supercar. The car's blistering performance is delivered by a twin-turbo V8, supplemented by a McLaren ECU electric motor and instant power assist system. And they do mean instant. Remember those problems with turbo lag? McLaren solved that with the hybrid drive. While the turbos build pressure, the electric motor drives the wheels. No turbo lag, just torque. And because it's a hybrid, it has an all-electric range. Running on batteries alone, that's 6.2 miles. A bit more if you're going downhill. <laughs> 